Hi guys, this is Jen here. Today I'm going to do part four of keeping an organized and clutter-free kitchen. I'm going to show you the inside of my refrigerator. I didn't spend a ton of money organizing my refrigerator, but I do have some really good tips that have helped me to keep my refrigerator organized. I'm also going to share with you a few tips that I use in order to make packing lunches a lot easier. So I'm going to go ahead and get started and show you inside my fridge. Okay guys, so this is what the inside of my refrigerator looks like. We just have a standard refrigerator. It's nothing fancy. So I'll go ahead and go shelf by shelf. The top is pretty simple. Um, I'm sure yours is similar. I just have our Brita filter and then our half and half. And I do stock up on things. If you've seen my hauls, especially my Trader Joe's haul, I buy a lot at once. So it's the middle of the month, so there isn't as much food in here, but I can fit it all when I do my haul. So a month's worth of a lot of things can fit in here if you just organize it. So I have um, a couple of these. I usually get like four or five from Trader Joe's and just stack those in the back. And then, on this side, I keep our milk, and if I buy more than one gallon, um, depending on the expiration date or whatever, I'll just put the other ones behind it. And um, the yogurt here, I usually stock up on those at Trader Joe's, so I just line those up here, and then we have our juice. So that's just um, the top shelf, nothing fancy there. Now this shelf is my favorite. I used to um, try to keep all of this stuff organized and it would, you know, as soon as I grabbed something it would start to get unorganized and um, I was constantly shifting things around and I did look into some things to organize my refrigerator but I thought they were pretty overpriced. Some of those, um, I don't remember the brand name, but some of those things they have in the stores are like seven dollars or so a piece for um, something like this size. What I used was uh, just some plastic shoe boxes that you can get at the dollar store and you just you know take the lid off obviously. I have three of them here so for three dollars um, which was less than half of one of the um, containers that are designed for refrigerator organization. So think outside the box, right? So in this one, I keep everything that I'm going to need for dinner. And as I'll show you, I can fit so much stuff in here. Um, and sometimes this is really packed full. When I do my, you know, large shopping trip for the month, it's really packed full. And sometimes I'll have, you know, a couple things of sour cream up here, but at least it's all contained and I don't have to dig through the entire refrigerator to find things. So in here I have things like sour cream, my different bags of shredded cheese. I have some prosciutto, bacon, a couple different bags of tortillas and corn tortillas in the back. So I can smash a lot in here. So um, it will get really full, but it, it will all fit. And then in this one, this just makes um, my husband's making a sandwich easier. And if you notice my date on my bread, we freeze our bread and then we thaw it. So it's not old or anything, but um, anyway, we, um, my husband likes to eat lunch meat for his sandwich almost every day, so I will get several of those packages of lunch meat when I go to Trader Joe's and just pack those in there and then we keep our bread in here. So when he makes his lunch, he can just use this container. And I'm going to share with you how my children pack their own lunches. Um, they've been packing their own lunches for a couple years now and what I did was gave them choices. So for us, um, they have to have a sandwich obviously or something like that. Um, sometimes they have like pepperoni rolls or whatever, but they have to have their main thing. And then they can pick a snack, which I did show you how I did that in my uh, last kitchen video uh, on my pantry. So my snacks are all divided out and you can see that in that video if you would like. And they have to, uh, pick a fruit. So I have my fruit, um, some of it divided out so they can just grab a bag of that. 
and then they have to pick a dairy. So I have their um, dairy in here, so they can pick string cheese or yogurt. And um, I, when I get a large bag of string cheese, I just um, take it out and divide them all up. And that just makes it easier. Um, there isn't, you know, a ripped open bag in my refrigerator and it can all fit in here. And then also to save room, when I get um, packages of yogurt, I just have a couple in here now, but sometimes I really stack up on yogurt, the individual cups, and I just take them out of the cardboard and just stack them up. And um, a lot of times I can fit um, two of them, up, you know, one on top of the other and put them in the back. So that's another good tip. Take things that you can out of the packages because they'll take up less room, especially things that are in cardboard packages. So we just keep our yogurt and string cheese in here. And then my eggs just fit perfectly right there on the side. So this shelf really just the shoebox containers help so much to keep everything organized. And my family knows where to find everything in here. And it just really helps and it wasn't very um, expensive. And then on my bottom shelf, I always get these tubs of organic um, baby spring mix and um, spinach. So I just keep those right there. And then this middle portion is kind of for the larger vegetables like um, celery and stuff. And um, if you haven't watched any of my videos so far, I mentioned before that we have pet tortoises and they eat a ton of romaine lettuce. So that's why I have an enormous bag of lettuce right there. But you could keep, you know, other things there that you might have in your house. And then um, this spot, I always put our leftovers and um, we don't always have a ton of leftovers because we have a 12 year old and 15 year old. Uh, they're both boys, so you know, they eat a lot. But um, if I have leftovers, they go over here and that way no one has to rummage through the refrigerator to uh, find anything. And I also um, put any meat that I'm sawing right in that area too. So everything pretty much has a spate uh, place and it does get you know a little bit messy but it it pretty much stays like this because everything has its spot and it's all contained so you know things just go there and they stay there so it's just really nice and then for their lunches um when i get home from the grocery store i try to wash up all our fruit and cut it if i need to um i might save like if i bought um a watermelon or something I might save that for a few days just so that our fruit lasts through the week because we eat a lot of fruit but um, things like grapes I'll wash those and then I'll put them in individual bags and then when my children are packing their lunches they can just grab this bag and it takes up a lot less room than if I were to put all of these grapes in a huge bag I would have to you know put it up on a shelf because it wouldn't really fit in this drawer so that that just helps save space and it makes it easy for my kids to pack their lunches which would also work for adults too and then this is just a container of um, some lemon wedges that i used for my water so everyone in our family like i said knows where to find everything and this drawer is for my vegetables and i usually use this for making myself salads for lunches or dinner things so i'm usually the only one that really gets in this drawer and there is a lot in here so it doesn't stay perfectly organized but I can fit a lot in um, and I know that it's at least in this drawer so I have um, you know carrots and broccoli and cucumbers and things like that and then I'll just show you this really quickly um, I don't know if you're supposed to but I always keep my onions in my refrigerator and they last a lot longer so when I get home from the grocery store I just put them in a large Ziploc bag with a paper towel to absorb any moisture and they last a lot longer so I do that and I also recommend if you don't know this tip to put um, paper towel in with your packages of lettuce if you buy like bags or um, containers of lettuce and it will last a couple days longer and then things like my fresh herbs this is cilantro in here again I just put um, paper towel in with it so that it um, stays fresher longer because they you know how they spray the water on there in the grocery store and they're wet and gross and 
they tend to not last very long. So I do that. And then if I have extra things chopped up, like onions or whatever, I just try to keep them in these little Ziploc containers so that they don't take up much room. So um, that isn't very complicated, but that's how we do that. And it's just nice to have a place for everything. So that really helps. And then I'll show you the door. Um, this is pretty, I mean, most people probably do the same thing, but um, I'll just show you, show you a couple things here. I try to keep my like things together because we do have um, several shelves and you know, if I didn't have a certain spot for things, we would have to search in you know, the different shelves and try to find them. So I keep my butter and cream cheese in here together. I keep all of our condiments that we would use for like burgers or <clears throat> things like that in here, like, you know, ketchup and mustard and barbecue sauce and stuff like that all go in here. And then in this one, I keep all the things that I would use for cooking so that if I'm right in the middle of cooking something, I don't have to search through all of the shelves to find, you know, my soy sauce or something like that. So everything, like I said, that I cook with goes right in here. And then I have this bottom shelf that shelf that I just keep um, extras in. And another tip, um, you might already know this, but when you open uh, these containers of like chicken broth or whatever, be sure to put the date that you opened it on because it will have an expiration date, but it won't stay good, um, you know, until then if you open it, like it's not going to stay good for months and months. So I think it's like 10 days and then you need to throw it out. So I always just write the date right on there so I can remember when I opened it. Um, I also keep a container of yeast in my refrigerator because it stays fresher longer. And I'm going to go ahead and show you my freezer. Okay, now it is the middle of the month, so my freezer isn't packed like it sometimes can be. <clears throat> and, um, what I try to do here, I don't have another freezer and like I've shown in my hauls and I um, already spoke about, I buy a lot of stuff at the beginning of the month. So I stock up on meat at Trader Joe's because it's not close to my home. So this will be really, really full. Um, I at least have a little bit of a system so that I can find things. I keep all of my chicken up here. So I have um, some bags of chicken breast here, chicken thighs, and then I keep our extra bread in the freezer because I stock up on that at Aldi so I don't have to make multiple trips there. And then here I just have some mini beef tacos that we like from Trader Joe's. And then this is um, stuff like beef, um, ground beef, um, and some sausage and stuff like that. So I, at least when it gets really full, I know where I can find it. And I'm going to show you something to you at the end that helps me keep track of what's in my freezer. I just forgot to grab it, so I'll do that at the end. And I'm almost done. So this shelf I use for making my smoothies. So everything that I use to make my smoothie is in here. I have a ton of frozen bananas. I stock up on those and just throw them in the freezer, just keep them in a Ziploc bag. I do like to keep my bananas on the door because it's not as cold and I notice they don't stick together as badly as if I keep them inside of the freezer. So I just have, you know, different fruits there. And then the shelf is for um, frozen vegetables and ice packs and frozen herbs and stuff like that. So I know where to find everything. And I'm going to go ahead and grab the one last thing that I wanted to show you. Okay guys, so in order to know what I have in my freezer, which meats I have in there, I've showed this before in my menu planning video, but this really helps me out. I write a new list every time I suck up at the beginning of the month with meat. I just write a list of the different meats that I have in my freezer. So I don't have to search through and try to find um, what I have in there. And then I write that in pen, but next to it, 
I have written in pencil just how many of each thing I have in my freezer. So with my chicken breasts, um, they are in bags and I just kind of write down how many meals I can make. And then once I take um, the meat out to thaw for a dinner, I just erase that number next to it and put the next number. So I know even when my refrigerator is packed full, I know, okay, I have three packages of ground beef, so I can go ahead and plan meals with ground beef. I have, you know, a package of bacon in my refrigerator, and just, it really, really helps. I highly recommend doing a list similar to this. You can um, keep it, you know, right on the outside of your refrigerator or in your um, recipe binder or whatever you use to um, make your menu, and that's what I do. So, I hope you found some helpful tips, and Please um, like this video below if you enjoyed watching it and make sure to subscribe to my channel so you can catch more of my videos. Thanks for watching.